Hello everyone, this is R.S. Miller at TheEndTimeNews.org and today is March 28, 2013. Russia stages massive war games in the Black Sea. The Russian Navy in the Black Sea was ordered to conduct unscheduled drills early this morning. The naval training put in motion dozens of warships, military aircraft, and armored vehicles, and thousands of marines. The drill started early in the morning when President Vladimir Putin, who was returning from Durban, South Africa, to Suchi aboard Air Force One, ordered Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu to alert the Black Sea Fleet as well as regional air force and troops. Shoigu opened an envelope delivered to him at 4 a.m. Moscow time and only then learned of the planned war games. The Russian naval drills came as a surprise not only to the Russian armed forces, but also to neighboring countries' militaries as well, which were forced to rub sleep from their eyes and rush to their duties as up to 30 Russian battleships left port. The battleships operating from the Russian naval base in Sevastopol in Crimea, Ukraine, were also alerted. Defense Ministry Press Secretary Igor Konashenkov told Interfax that the drills engaged over 7,100 troops, around 250 armored vehicles, some 50 cannons, up to 20 fighter jets and helicopters, and about 30 various warships. The training partly involves air forces, rapid deployment paratrooper divisions, marines, special forces of the intelligence service of Russia's general staff, Presidential Press Secretary Dmitry Peskov said, adding that at least three airborne insertions are planned during the exercises. The drills in the Black Sea coincide with a huge long-range aviation exercise by the Russian Air Force. A range of strategic bombers, such as the supersonic Tu-160, Tu-95MC, Tu-22M3, Illusion flying tankers, A-50 AWACS aircraft, Su-27 fighter jets, and supersonic MiG-31 interceptors conducted over 60 missions at three ranges in various regions of the country. Now, according to Debkafal, the maneuver sends a hands-off warning on Syria from Moscow to the U.S. and NATO. Are you saved? Follow the link below and pray the prayer of salvation with a sincere heart and you will be saved. It is my prayer that God bless each and every one of you with ears to hear, eyes to see, and a heart to receive. In Jesus' name, amen.